That's the way the kilt stretches back to at least the end of the 16th century. The kilt first appeared as a belted plaid, a great kilt, or a full length garment whose upper half could be worn as a cloak draped over the shoulder or brought up over the head as a hood. The Scots word derives from the old Norse kajalta, meaning lap, fold, of gathered skirt. The small kilt or walking kilt, similar to the modern kilt, did not develop until the late 17th, early 18th century and is essential in the bottom half of the great kilt. So what we have here is the government number one alpha pattern. It's a kilt that the Royal Regiment of Scotland wear for public duties and ceremonial duties, also public events like weddings. So many people are wearing the kilt wrong. In this British Army how-to video, I'm going to teach you how to wear the kilt correctly. BRING ON THE KILTS! So here we have the government number one alpha kilt, as an utter belter. What most people don't know is where the bottom half of the kilt should sit. The finished length of the kilt should sit centre of the kneecap, not one inch up, not one inch below. This is the perfect length for the military kilt. Sometimes when people wear the kilt wrong, they wear it far, far too long, and there's no separation between the socks and the kilt. And it looks like a dress! I don't wear a dress. And if the kilt's too short for you, i.e. this one, ends up looking like a mini skirt. So normally with tartan kilts, there's a pattern. Pattern round in the centre of the front apron. Bearing in mind, the front apron is at the front of the kilt and not the back. Because there has been occasions where I've seen people wearing the pleats at the front of the kilt. Front apron goes to the front. So the leather purse, aka spawn, should sit one hand width down from the belt. And this is the correct position for the leather spawn. <coughs> unless you're pipes and drums. Or unless you really need to go to the toilet. The white belt should run flush with the top of the kilt. The buckle should be sitting central of the kilt and highly polished. Runners tight in against the kilt. So the Highland socks should sit two inches below the knee, with the red flashies running central down the shin bone, two and a half inch of the flash should be shown. Please remember, lots of new kilts come with white stitching. This is to hold the pleats in place. Please remove before wearing. Now that you've been shown how to wear the kilts correctly, let's bring back the jocks to show how it's done. And how does a kilt feel on boys? Eh? Woo! Now for that age old question. What does a Scottish soldier wear underneath his kilt? Well let's find out. Three, two, one! Which one of you used to be chills of that camera party? I don't wear a dress.